What's up ladies and gentlemen, we are back on the Tuesday now. Keep it going. Today's a big day. Today's a big day. You know why? I've been talking about it in all the other vlogs, you know? Oreo cheesecake. I already know. I've already looked at the menu. I already know what I'm getting. So let's jump in the car. Probably gonna give him another call just to make sure you can do like curbside pickup. So let's go. Hi, um, I was just calling to see how it would work if I wanted to pick up some food with all the craziness going on right now. Yeah, of course. So we have a couple options for you. Um, you can definitely come on in and order from the restaurant like you normally would. Yep. Um, because we only we are only operating takeout, so there's not too much crowd in here. Okay. Um, and then we also have a new online ordering. Um, and then with all those options, um, we can you can give us a call once you get here, and if you'd like, we can actually just bring it out to your car. You don't even have to come inside. Okay. Cool. Would I? Uh, would I be able to just make an order now? I'm just, I just want to pick up like two slices of cheesecake, basically. That's it. Uh, yeah. The cheesecake only take like a minute or so. If you want, there's no way oh. now. If you want to just come in and grab it fresh. Uh, okay. I wasn't, yeah, I wasn't sure if we were allowed, I was allowed to come in. I know some places don't allow that. Uh, I, I, yeah, that, yeah. Okay. You no, know, we're, we're such a big restaurant that we're, we're able to, uh, distance guests. Gotcha. Uh, if that's the case, but right now there's literally no one in here. Okay, cool. Bunch of managers walking around. Yeah. Okay. All right. Sounds good. So I'll just uh, I'll wait then until I get there, so I can get it right out of the uh, to get it fresh, I yeah. guess. Um, yeah. Do you know what like if I wanted Oreo cheesecake? Do you know if you guys have that or not? Yeah, Oreo we have. We do have most of our top sellers. Gotcha. Again, like okay. Cool. Sweet. So I'll be there. I'll see you in about a half an hour or so then. Yeah. No worries. Awesome. We'll thank. You. Thank you very much. Bye. Bye. All right. So it looks like. Looks like you can just show up and walk in quick and get the cheesecake that you want. Perfect. I'm going to head over there, pick up that cheesecake, and just destroy it. I've been eating chicken and green beans so many days that I need something unhealthy, you know? Hey guys, I actually just wanted to kind of uh, ask a favor. Uh, this will probably be about my third vlog now. And I just wanted to make sure, you know, things look good for you guys. So if you guys have any any tips you know whatsoever about what i can do to make things make things look better you know make things sound better uh, again i am only using my phone right now just because um it's because i i don't want to really invest in an actual full-fledged camera yet um you don't even want to know the contraption i have set up right now to get this phone to be sitting like this as i'm driving i've got it i've got a roll of duct tape sitting on top of my dash and then I've got a like a thin piece ho holding my phone up against it um, I just thought it would maybe it would look cool to get some kind of inside the car uh, footage so yeah so like I said anything any suggestions whatsoever um, that would be you know greatly appreciated uh, I'm doing my best I feel like I'm getting a little bit more kind of comfortable uh, each time I do it um, so I know the first one was a little and eh, the beginning of it um, but like I said, I am doing my best. I don't know what I can do better. I just, I need to go out and I need to just drive somewhere because I'm losing my mind in this quarantine. It's crazy. Usually I'm someone who can sit at home and I can do nothing, but to do nothing um, for about three weeks straight is even getting to me. Kind of on a serious note, uh, you know, I know that there's been some people that got laid off uh, not some a lot of people I heard in the US it's like over six million people or something like that uh, which is absolutely crazy um, you know we're in a kind of a global economic crisis um, right now uh, and I know I've never really told uh, told you guys kind of what I do um, basically I in a nutshell um, I work for a, a company that helps provide you know solutions mobile solutions technical solutions for businesses um, and right now you know we get a lot of our product from China 
and China, as you know, was kind of the first place to get seriously hit with this uh, with the COVID-19 outbreak, and and so with no stock, we have no stock with no product coming in. We have no product to sell to anyone, right? As well as the people we would be selling to, a lot of them are all locked down right now in quarantine as well. So, you know, for everyone that's laid off, you know, I'm here, I'm with you. Um, try to make the best of it. Try to, you know, be safe. Feel like, you know, you do have symptoms. Stay away from, you know, the serious people at risk, you know. Sorry to bring it down in kind of a, uh, in a serious note there, but I feel like, you know, everyone needs to talk about it a little bit and everyone needs to take it serious, uh, you know, as well. So I'll catch you guys when I get to the Cheesecake Factory. We just got here and one of the good things, what is the only good thing about this whole outbreak is that there is every parking spot you would want. And the only parking, the only people I see in this parking lot are the ones waiting to get Cheesecake Factory and that's about it. So usually this parking lot is full, full, and now there's no one here. So I get to park right up by the front entrance and I'm gonna go grab the cheesecake and I will be right back. Honestly, if you've never been to Yorkdale Mall, you wouldn't understand. Usually this, this mall is like jam packed every single day. And the Cheesecake Factory always has a lineup. Now they, there's no one here, the entire mall. And the Cheesecake Factory, it, there's like three people working in there. It's dead and they're only managers. Um, it's crazy what this what this whole outbreak is doing to to everybody to all these businesses and stuff man it's nuts uh, but gonna head home look at that oh, are you kidding me are you fucking kidding me and they give you like a big Oreo on that side like come on man one more thing guys too like if you want more kind of in the car talks vlogs whatever you want to call it um, just let me know in the comments and I will obviously just keep doing that for you guys. So I'll see you guys when I get back. All right, everyone, I'm just about to get home. Just getting ready to absolutely demolish that Oreo cheesecake. And if you don't think that I'm doing a B-roll for it, you're sadly mistaken. And you're about to see that B-roll in three, two, one. All right, guys, so I'm just going out for a walk quick after that cheesecake. I uh, got to work it off a little bit, you know. Uh, I'm going to call it there, so I'll see you uh, in the next one. This morning, I was awoken from my slumber at about 7 a.m. Uh, you may ask, why were you up so early or what woke you up, Nick? Well, this is what woke me up. These guys have been leaf blowing since 7 a.m. Now, the only good thing is that must mean that summer is coming, right? Or that I hope. So I'm letting it slide today. If any other day, any other time, I'd be going down there and I'd be giving them a piece of my mind. Don't you worry about that. But instead, cooler heads prevailed. I'm not gonna do anything about it. Uh, today, there's not really much kind of on the calendar for what I, what I have planned to do. Uh, it's super nice out, so I might go for a bike ride, go for a walk. Maybe I'll go get some ice cream. Maybe I want to treat myself for those guys waking me up at 7 a.m. Don't judge me, okay? I just got back kind of from a apocalyptic grocery haul. Look at all this. We got all the spaghetti sauce you would want. By the way, rosé sauce? I mean, you can, you can try and convince me that, that there's a better spaghetti sauce or a better pasta sauce than that. I highly doubt you can convince me. All the sauce you could want, ghost protein and BCAAs. We got brown rice, white rice, we got long grain. Just kind of stocking up because you never know, right? You never know when 
things could get worse, and they may say everything, you just have to shut down now. And then what? Then you're screwed for food, right? Let me know. If you guys want to see more stuff of me, like, on my bike, then let me know. Not gonna lie, it's hard to get stuff to do when everything's shut down. Uh, but I'm gonna be doing my best to kind of just let you guys follow me along in my days on if I do do anything or if I'm just sitting on the couch being a bum. Alright guys, so as I was riding on my bike, there was one person who I could think of that probably would have hired those maintenance guys to come out at 7 in the morning. Kill basket. That's all. Just wanted to say that uh, because she's a mastermind, okay? Carol Baskin. I'm going to call it on that one, but I will definitely see you guys in the next one. <laughs>